Hey guys, a few weeks back a young guy named Connor wrote to me saying he'd made some wax rings and had no way to cast them and would I cast them for him? Well I jumped at the chance, I'd never cast any rings before. I explained to Connor that I had no precious metals and he was fine about that. Well Connor's clearly a very brave guy as he sent me these, hand carved by himself from carving wax. And look at that, he's even made one for me. Unfortunately, some of these had broken whilst he was carving them and he glued them back together with super glue. Not an ideal choice really. I was nervous it would leave residue behind in the cast. The super glue had failed in places, so I just melted the join lightly and this seemed to do the trick. I added some large wax sprues to ensure a good feed point. You know me guys, I couldn't resist having a bash at a ring myself. So I headed over to Thingiverse, found this fabulous Celtic style ring, printed it, and here it is. It's not the best print in the world, but this is just an experiment. I didn't want to cover the outside pattern with a sprue, so I attached it inside. And as I'm a belt and braces kind of guy, I added a couple of smaller sprues as well, just in case. So, yep, I did the same to Connor's wax rings. This is a one-shot deal after all. I wanted to keep as much wax in play here as possible, so I attached the rings to a large wax sprue. I cut down my standard printed PLA sprue base. Then I inserted the wax sprue. Oh dear, I broke away the edge of the plaster, but thankfully the pouring basin did its job and kept the debris out. Now that doesn't look too bad. And here it is after the clean up in soapy water. It looked as though my PLA ring worked and most of Connor's rings look good. Except this one. Sorry Connor. I didn't want to finish off the rings completely. Connor's made these, and I think he'd really enjoy filing and sanding them down. So I just gave them a very light sanding to remove any plaster residue, and then put everything in the tumbler. I don't think they've come out too bad. I hope I haven't let Connor down here. I'll be sending these back to him in a couple of days. But 
This one, well, Connor made this one for me. So I didn't feel guilty about working on it a little bit more. And I have to say, I'm quite pleased with it. And my PLA ring isn't bad either. So with good printing and some sanding beforehand, lost PLA casting rings is possible. So I hope you enjoyed this one guys. Take care and thanks for watching.